Let yourself spread for the fight. Hey, how are you? You're good? You're good? You're good? As it stands, Spain are going home and Japan, Costa Rica are going through. Right, let's just finish here. England are going to win the World Cup. I'll say it here. Bro. Okay, I'm out. Well, when he starts talking no sense, that's when it's, it's time to win. Two weekend. Just heading into the media centre where we've got a vibe with five. It was meant to be with Micka Richards, but I think Mark Schwartz has got a sore throat or something, so Mick has had to fill in for him. Um, so I think we're doing it solo, but we've just been told that there might be a special guest with us. Stay tuned to find out. <laughs> <laughs> it's an interesting one, put it that way. Uh, after this, uh, me and Ronnie are going to hope to try and go do some like touristy type shit or see some sights or maybe even go to the beach or something. Just do some of it, if we're allowed. So let's see how it goes today, eh? Hey? So we just uh, did a five with five and uh, we had Poch. Yeah, you, you, you have probably seen it before this vlog comes out, but yeah, so we met Poch. And I know the comments are like, oh, Forsty doesn't like Poch. I don't want him as manager at United, but fair play to the guy, Sam Block. Definitely the sort of guy I could go with a pint for, but uh, doesn't mean I want him to manage United still. But he was a nice bloke. Would he manage Paddock? Might suck. Maybe assistant. <laughs> Bit of a loose end here now today. I think we might end up going to do the beach. We're going to hit them all up and then probably just do a beach. Just have a bit of a relaxing one. Uh, we're doing a bit of filming later on during one of the games at 8 o'clock. So we got like five and a half hours or something to go kill. So I think walk around the mall, get our asses on the beach. Jobs are good. Huh? Come to the beach and um, there's a problem. There's the beach, and here's a wall in the way. The beach is paid, and if you ain't paying, here's your beach. Let's get the towels out, lad. <laughs> That's salt water. Yeah, it's another beach over there. This is sea running. I've just managed at 7.27, sorted out tickets for Germany against Costa Rica. Now this is another one of those groups where absolutely anything can happen and all four teams can either go through or not go through. That's madness. And actually I'm going to a game where I'm unashamedly wanting one of the teams to win. It's a quite refreshing feeling. I think this Germany team's shit the bed in a bit of a boy, but uh, I think there's enough talent in the team that they're gonna smash Costa Rica. And then it's just, can Spain do them a favor? I'm excited for this one, should be a cracker of a game. This is a weird experience. I've just had two uh, German guys come up to me and start speaking in German, which I wasn't actually mentally prepared for. Maybe I should have been, maybe that's on me. I do have like quite light hair and I do have blue eyes and I'm wearing a Germany shirt at a Germany game. So is it a wild assumption to think that people would come up to me and speak to me in German? Luckily, I know a nine Sprechensee Deutsch and then the guy just flipped into like, Perfect English. It's actually embarrassing how few English people can speak other languages in it. We're fucking well shit. If it stays as it is, Germany go through as second in the group. I would think they were going to want a, more than a one goal cushion though in both matches. Hey, this group is mad. Japan are beating Spain and it's one all here. I have no idea how this has happened. This is... I'm not sure what the permutations are for the group now, but... It don't look good for Germany in the slightest. Um, Costa Rica are beating Germany. Wowzers. 
as it stands, Spain are going home and Japan, Costa Rica are going through. Do you know what? We're going to lose this. In the next World Cup with 48 teams and it's three teams per group and two out of the three go through, you're going to lose this last day chaos like this. And that is a big, big, big mistake. Big mistake. And Germany have pulled one back. Now Costa Rica are in third. Wow. It would have been mad that Costa Rica could have gone through with minus five goal difference over the team that absolutely snotted them in the first round. I think it was Kai Havertz has just made it 3-2 to Germany. But I think the result in the other game doesn't help them. Okay, we haven't really covered this in any of the vlogs as yet so far, but I think it's obviously worth talking about. Uh, I'm off to Dubai again, and I'm meeting Paddy Evra, and it's cool. There's no two ways around it. It's well cool. Paddy's one of my favourite players. For those who don't know, I actually used to work with Paddy a few years ago when he was first getting started on his social media and the, the Positive Monday type of stuff. So it's been cool to sort of hang out with him. And a couple of people have sort of been asking on, on the lives that I've been doing while I've been over in Qatar, Yo, what's ever like? And honestly, he is literally everything that you think he will be like. He is serious, he is sarcastic, he is a joker, he is funny, but he's real. And it's a it's a real treat. You know, amongst all of the, the awesome opportunities that we've had over the World Cup, hanging out with different people, I never want to normalise hanging out with Rio. I never want to normalise hanging out with Patrice Evra. These are guys that I watched at Old Trafford, loved at Old Trafford, uh, watched them win things, watched them deliver some of the biggest dreams a United fan could ask for. I don't ever want to normalise how I've gone from writing on a blog to making YouTube videos on an iPhone in my loft to the fact that I'm out here covering a World Cup for a YouTube channel. And I wish I could tell you the, the things that we're about to go and do because the next Euros and the World Cup, we're gonna make a massive, massive splash. What, what did you say, Rio? You see me? I'll see you in the quarterfinals, France versus England, 100%. You got this thing? You know, this guy is crazy. I think, uh, he's, I think he's right, though. Oh my God. How so, confident are you Senegal are going through? Look, I'm too, I'm too confident. I'm like... I, I'm like 20, I'm 20% 20 confident Senegal gonna go through, but it's two, those 20% are enough. <laughs> you know what I mean? I like, I'm seven, like 80% I would say England gonna beat Senegal, but those 20%, everything can happen. Alright, let's just finish here. England are gonna win the World Cup. I'll say it here. Man. Okay, I'm out. Well, when he start talking no sense, that's when it's, it's time to go. Today we're off to go do something with Falcons. What we're doing with Falcons, I don't exactly know. I believe Falcon is the national bird of Qatar. That's about all I know. But we're expecting Rio might get mobbed. Are you nervous? Yeah. I don't like things like this. I don't like animals and uh, I like just about like dogs. What's what's the worst case scenario? What could it do, do you reckon? Big claws and rabbits. Fucking big claws. Big claw, imagine the big claw in your nose. <laughs> How did Paddy get on? All three one. Because you weren't there. <laughs> Alrighty, it's time to go. Managed to score tickets for England, Senegal. Might have got tickets for tomorrow as well. That's a fucking bonus. So, time to go. Back to what seems like I've been to, this has been game number five that I've been to. But, I would have been to three stadiums. Three times at this one stadium, and it's the worst stadium to get to because it's the one that's in the middle of fucking nowhere that you have to get a driver to get you to. Not complaining, just saying. Couldn't get a Senegal shirt. Thought I'd boil a bit of piss if I did. But hoping Marcus Rashford plays and hoping he plays well. So, there is that. Oh, we've had the team news. You know the lad that scored twice last week? Yeah, he's not, he's not playing. Southgate's absolutely fucking balls it up, hasn't it? Again, already. I mean, it might work for him. It probably will work for him because Senegal goal a gash. But it just shows what he's all about, isn't it? Gabs, a dragon, nice gaff. Authentic, authentic. Car 
cockpit inside on the roof. <laughs> Madness. <clears throat> I like it, mate. Yeah, it's nice. I like it even more if it was my only time I'd been here. <laughs> Try and get in the fun end. <laughs> Let's see what we can find. Let's see what we can do. watching the video if you are new around these parts then don't forget to subscribe my channel is proudly supported by my community on patreon if you'd like to get a little bit of extra content a discord group meetups five aside games weekly podcasts behind the scenes and even an occasional bit of transfer news as and when i get it then for the price of a pint you can show your appreciation for the content that we make and get some goodies for doing so as well check the link in the description or click the button right here you'll also find all of my socials here too if you want to follow me on any of those platforms nice one